Social Security Disability, otherwise known as SSDI. The major problems just revealed with these monthly benefits. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in this video. Let's get right into it. All right, so I do recognize that many of you right here in this community do receive monthly benefits from Social Security. I also do recognize that a lot of you receive SSDI monthly benefits. These benefits are very, very important that send out to tens of millions of people every single month and in most cases account for the vast majority of incomes for the recipients and beneficiaries of these monthly benefits. Well, a new report was just released specifically focused on SSDI that I want to share with you right here in this video because I always want to make sure that you understand what is going on with monthly benefits as well as what is going on with these benefits in relation to the Social Security Administration. Now, so that we're all on the same page here, this report that we're going to talk about in this video is specific to SSDI, Social Security Disability. However, for those of you receiving retirement benefits or survivors or SSI, VA, maybe you're low income or no income, hey, I have specific videos for you as well, but I just wanna make it very clear this report is specific to SSDI. You can feel free to watch, no problem there at all, but again, I just wanna make that clear so that we're all on the same page here so that we don't um, you know, think it's about SSI or retirement benefits. This is just on SSDI. So anyway, I will have specific videos for retirement and SSI and VA, things like that going forward as well. And of course, I already do have a bunch of videos specific to those benefits right here on the channel. Anyway, let's get into it and talk about the results out of this report here and what it actually means going forward. There's a lot going on right now, as we always talk about right here in pretty much all the videos. So really quickly before we get into it, if you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video. I'm watching everything closely as your one and only daily advocate. I truly want to help you out in any way that I possibly can as my dedication and commitment is to you and this community to be here right by your side every single day, making sure that you're staying updated with everything going on as this information is hitting the wire. It's a busy time out there. Things are changing rapidly and I know that fixed income benefits are incredibly important for the beneficiaries. I want to make sure that you know what's going on, as well as any other programs that may pop up right now that could yield money, benefits, stimulus, checks, anything else right now that we can possibly get. Of course, I want to make sure that you know about it immediately which is why I'm doing research all day every day and why I'm coming back and breaking it down into the shortest possible videos I can produce right here for you and uh, deliver them to you a couple times each and every day. So again, thanks so much for joining me. Make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet and let's get into the report. All right, so this report just hit the tape and I wanna walk you through the details. So if you're somebody who is currently receiving SSDI benefits, Congratulations, because you probably understand when you went through the application process, it is a very long drawn out process. In fact, this report goes on to say that the average SSDI application for either approval or denial typically takes three to five months to actually get a decision. So from the time that you submit your application, this report is showing that it takes typically three to five months to get some type of response back, whether it's an approval where you're gonna start getting benefits or it's a denial and that is not a good situation. However, the report also goes on to show that 65% of first time applications are denied. That's a huge percentage. So essentially 65% of the first time applications that go in are denied and only 35% are actually approved on the first run. That's really like not a very high percentage, right? So. It's probably taking you a very long time to fill out the application. The applications typically take a very long time. A lot of times you might need to get um, you know, like legal counsel. You may need to get assistance from people. I know that when I submitted my application, um, it was a very difficult process, right? I know that I had my parents helping me a lot. I was pretty young at the time. Um, so yeah, it was a very long drawn out process, right? So kind of a, a situation that you certainly don't want to go down that road more than two times or more than once, I should say, if you don't want, if you don't need to, right? So when you actually maybe get a denial back, not a good situation. But anyway, that's not what this video is all about. But kind of, I just want to lay that out there because that is actually some big, big numbers there. 65% being denied first time around. So anyway, one quick thing here that I just want to throw out as well. This was mentioned in the report and I just want to put this out there. If you are somebody who uh, files an, an application for SSDI and it comes back denied, again, first off, please don't feel discouraged. I know it can be very discouraging and it's tempting to just throw, out, throw in the towel and say, I'm done, I'm not gonna apply again. No, 
okay? If you feel like you need benefits and you feel like you um, have a disability, things like this, and you can no longer work to the capacity that you were working, um, by all means, you certainly want to stay on that. And again, like I just said, 65%. So 6.5 uh, people out of every 10 are being denied first time around, right? So anyway, that's why we want to lay this out. Uh, but anyway, you can actually file an appeal. And again, this video is not all about the denial thing, but I just want to throw this out there just in case this is your situation. I want to make sure that you understand how you can actually get a, around this. Well, possibly anyway. You can file an appeal. You can either call the Social Security Administration, again, use the 1-800 number, or you can actually download and fill out the appeal um, paperwork right on the Social Security website. So check that out. Generally, the appeal needs to be filed within 60 days of when they actually uh, send out that letter. So just be aware of that. Your time is relatively limited when it comes to, uh, to down to actually sending out that appeal and actually filing once again, you know what I mean? So just be on top of that in case that is your situation. But anyway, just wanna throw that out there just in case that happens to be your situation. The report goes on to show right now, like right here, right now, as we speak, according to this report, there are 1.1 million SSDI applications in the works right now waiting for approval. So over a million people, 1.1 million people have filed their SSDI applications to get benefits because, you know, unfortunately, a disability has come up and that person, maybe you, um, you know, have fallen into a situation where your disability no longer allows you to work at all or maybe at the capacity that you once did therefore trying to reach out getting some money right now to help you through this very difficult time as prices are rising on literally everything and um, those benefits are very very important especially for the beneficiaries i, pro I think you probably un uh, understand the situation right uh, you send your application in you finally get the award letter and it's like ah oh, finally a little bit of relief coming you know so Anyway, that's a lot of people, 1.1 million people that are still waiting on applications to be approved by Social Security. Here's what else is interesting. Only about a month ago, it was a little over a month ago, actually it was about five weeks ago, the field offices for Social Security just finally opened up once again. They were closed for over two years as a result of the whole COVID situation that we've been living through for the last two years. So the field offices just opened up. Well, I think I probably have a pretty good... Um, you know, anticipation for why there's so many backed up applications right now. The field office is being closed. Therefore, a lot of people probably haven't been able to get the support that they've needed, as in filing their applications, getting all the paperwork in, you know, getting all that stuff um, necessary for approval, maybe in. So maybe that's again, why the, um, the uh, denial process or why the denial percentage is so high too, is because sometimes you may not even know what you need to send in. However, if the field offices would have been open, maybe you could have stepped in and said, you know, hey, here's my situation. I'm applying for SSDI benefits. What else do you need from me to make sure that this goes smoothly to get this all approved the first time around? So anyway, just another report that came out of here talking about SSDI benefits and, um, you know, the actual process of applying here, as well as how many are still sitting in the pipeline. So three to five months, well, not really sure how long it takes them to work through 1.1 million applications, but we also need to remember too, at the same time, as they work through these 1.1 million applications, there's still more applications coming in every single day. So unless the outflow is bigger than the inflow, as in, in other words, provided they are processing more applications, um, they're processing faster than what are actually coming in, um, you know what I mean? That backlog is gonna continue to stay pretty uh, significant, right? Um, so anyway, this is just a report that I came across. I thought, you know what, this is actually very interesting because I do know that there are many of you here in the community receiving SSDI as well as um, there I've seen down in the comment section as well over the last several months as well that many of you in the community here are basically in the process of submitting applications or you are new beneficiaries or maybe you are looking at helping a family member, a friend, um, an acquaintance, a spouse, somebody like this apply for benefits as well. So. Wow, yeah, um, benefits are very, very important. And, uh, you know, it's 
it's kind of sad that it takes that long for the approval process to actually take place. Um, but anyway, there's some new information that just came out on SSDI, Social Security Disability Insurance Benefits. So anyway, hope that you enjoyed this and I hope this helps you to kind of get an idea of what's actually going on with monthly benefits as well as if you have any questions, comments, feedback, things like that, please leave that down below in the comments section. Otherwise, go back and I do have more dedicated videos right here on the channel specifically focused on SSDI benefits and for those of you who are maybe retirees or survivors beneficiaries, SSI, VA, low income, no income, all of these benefits as well. Of course, I have many, many videos here on the channel that are dedicated to you and your monthly benefits as well. Feel free to go back and check those out. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe down below. It's totally free to do so. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and of course, go back and check out any of the other 2,500 plus videos right here on the channel. Thanks again. I really do appreciate it. There's a lot going on right now, and I am very much dedicated to being here for you every single day to making sure that you're staying updated with everything going on. Enjoy your day. I'll catch you again later in the next update.